Jumbo fish, bring up D. Every man that do it in Bristol, remember 2006, a Bristol thing, yeah? We're taking it to the next level. Let me tell you a little story. Who falls the most the year came to this town? It was like seeing my life flash. 13 years in the so I knew I had to. Just pause it there. So, what you see there is, is essentially a cross between a music, docu a music video and a documentary. Um, it was all around this particular area in Bristol called St Paul's and there's particular things going on there with young people. So we're interested in working with them and explaining like, what they're about, what their interests are, what their skills are that their schools don't recognise and harnessing that into a creative project. So they made the music, they scripted it, um, they were involved in the technical side in terms of camera, etc. Then we also brought in professionals, you know, ourselves, but also other professionals from BBC that worked with them um, in terms of creating this p piece of work that, that, that hopefully they're proud of. And there's sort of evidence suggests that they have been really proud of this and that they've gone on to do another project after this. Um, sure. Did they sketch it out on uh, um, DV? mini-DV, and then, then the BBC guys come in and reshoot it, or what happened? No, no, it's th from there. They, they didn't come in and reshoot it. They, what you see here is a combination of the, the freelancers. It, the, the, f the BBC people were more consultants around script development, but when it was actually on location, it was working with ourselves and with them, because some of them we had worked with previously, and then it was up in their skills level. Um, so... It was, you know, what we're interested in as a company is to find out what, it, what interests us and then build an identity around it, which we now know as Firstborn Creators. So we're interested in working with young people and we're interested in social issues. Um, and we wanted to up the production values level. I think community media's got a reputation of work that's being, you know, not quite up to standard and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, we, we wanted to bring professional broadcast quality to work. Um, you know, this has been shown on BBC, for example, you know, so it, it's, all, it's also getting out there in terms of exposure, but it's actually still trying to do something in the community, wherever that might be. They would tell you more than I would tell you, be able to tell you that. So a lot of our work um, as a company is this sort of social interest works, and, you know, funding comes from any number of initiatives. New Labour's been very kind to us, um, neighbourhood renewal schemes and sort of different educational policies. Um, but also what we do is commercial production. So, we could, for example, we continue to make programmes for television just this year. Um, April, we had a programme on BBC One that was exploring the whole abolition um, issue. Um, I'm going to show you something slightly different. Um, this is for at Bristol, this project, which is essentially Bristol's answer to the Science Museum. It's a millennium project. And they came to us saying that um, they're interested in us producing an interactive exhibition around alcohol awareness, basically, and what, what could we do? So we're thinking, OK, that's interesting. What could we do there? And we do, a, essentially, it's, it's an interactive piece, and we, we increasingly work in an interactive um, area, combining uh, moving image with interactivity. And all, a lot of our projects are web-based as well. Um, this is a standard front end that they have in the museum, in the, in science, in the science at Bristol, um, which is collected on a database. Um, and again, we're looking at, okay, we could do quite a dry thing educationally around alcohol awareness, but how can we actually try and push the boundaries and do something different? Um, so we came up with this, there, there's three games on, on the exhibition. I'll show you the middle one called Sticky Situations. So you're at a party with a lot of friends and see what happens. There should be sound. So, you've got this sound there? I'm not sure what's happening. Mini Jackson. Yeah. Well, actually, I may have turned the, actually, I turned the volume down, didn't I, when I did that today? Oh, yeah, because you were playing the major. Yeah. Okay. She's here.